What's going on guys? I just want to talk to you about my first seven days on the carnivore diet. I want to talk about what I've been eating, drinking, uh, felt, any ups, downs, anything I've gone through in the first seven days. But this is not what you should expect on your first seven days because it's going to be different for everyone. Just for a little background information, starting in 2012, I really wanted to start losing weight for the first time. Uh, did calories in, calories out. I ate barely anything, did a really low calorie diet. Might have lost 10 pounds, felt awful the whole time. Uh, started reading books very heavily on nutrition. Uh, came across Mark Sisson's book, The Paleo Solution, read that. Started following that as best as I could for being someone who tends to overeat in general. It worked out for me most of the time. Eventually I was led into the world of keto, which was the result of my dad having a heart attack and me wanting to change as quickly as possible. It went really well. I lost about 90 pounds on the ketogenic diet. When I first started losing weight, my highest weight was probably about 410 pounds. And then over the next couple years, from 2012 to 2014, I lost about 120 pounds getting to my lowest, which was 285. I started regaining weight again later on once I started working in the food industry. Uh, working fast food uh, was my first job. It, wasn't, it was like a small town home fast food kind of thing. It wasn't McDonald's or anything crazy like that, but still it was my first introduction to overeating in small amounts and just constant worry of my weight and thinking constantly about it. So I started the last Monday, which would be February 3rd. And today is currently February 11th when I'm recording this. I didn't weigh myself that day, but I did the next morning on Tuesday. And starting that day, I weighed 398 pounds. Today, I weigh 390.4 pounds as of 20 minutes ago at about 8.30 p.m. So that's a loss of 7.6 pounds. To start everything off, I basically cleaned out everything from my house that I knew would be detrimental to the diet. I gave away some things, just random stuff that I had because I've been trying to do ketogenic type diets with a lot of failure because it was a little too loose for me for the way my mind's working right now. So I started off, I had like pork tenderloin and pork skins and chicken, just, just, whatever, I, just whatever I had the first day. I ate a lot, ate a whole lot. I'm not sure if I counted the calories, but if I did, I'll post them here. But other than that, first day was fine. Didn't feel too many effects. That's true for most diets I've ever been on. First day isn't the craziest. Second day and third day is when it gets weird. Second day, I went to the store and got some ribeye, some New York strip, and some sirloin just to give everything a try. I also ordered uh, some grass-fed, grass-finished hamburger patties from U.S. Foods. If you don't know what U.S. Foods is, U.S. Foods is a distributor for restaurants and like gels and shit like that. So second day comes around, I have a couple of New York strips probably weighs about a pound and a half. I have a couple of burger patties and some bacon. Just that's all I have. Uh, it's very, very filling. Uh, if you've done this diet, you know immediately once you feel the threshold of where you cannot eat any more meat. You, it's not that you feel sick. It's just that you know that you will if you eat one more bite. Um, and I hit that threshold twice that day. And to be honest, it wasn't my favorite filling, but it helped me realize that I was full which is a marker that I rarely get because I think about if I'm full or not all the time. But anyways, day three goes on and I have a sirloin. It's about a pound and a half too. Basically all my, my first meal of the day has typically been a steak so far. It's been over a pound, typically a pound and a half of steak. And that'll last me a good seven to eight hours, if not the full day. And if I do eat again, it'll typically be eggs or a hamburger patty that I have in the freezer. Everything was going well. Uh, I did fantastic up until Sunday, which I had my first, what I call cheap, but still technically carnivore. Um, I had these, It was. It, I went and cooked out at my buddy's house and I had to have something. It was about one o'clock and the food wouldn't be ready for another like six hours. So I had some beef bologna and some of these like pepperoni wrap cheese things that I got from Publix, uh, really good. But it felt like I was cheating eating the cheese. When the food was finally done, we had like ribs and uh, I had some chuck steak that I cooked and uh, some pork tenderloin. I had it, but during the whole process, I ended up making some barbecue sauce for my friend. 
and it was pretty exciting because I didn't make ketchup before, so I made some had to make ketchup for the sauce, which is really cool to do. But in the process of making it, I kept tasting it and tasting it. And of course, ketchup and barbecue sauce are super high in sugar, and it ended up making me feel really, really, really bad. I sat down on the couch and I was so lethargic and I felt like I was gonna fall asleep just sitting there. It was just bizarre because I didn't notice it until later on. I get back home, it's about an hour drive. The, the drive home is really rough because it's hard to, I just feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I get home and I've got a pounding headache. My, I've got some heart palpitations going on, stomach hurts, just all of it. Uh, I drink some bone broth and some gray salt and I take a magnesium glyconate capsule, which makes me feel just infinitely better. So that was, that was good to learn too, that in case I do do something that affects the way I feel like that, like eating sugar, whether it be on accident or in, or in my case, like small amounts where I'm just tasting things to get something right, I can have that to come back to. But yeah, first seven days, it was, I'd say it was pretty easy. These last two days have been pretty hard just because I've felt great, but I'll talk about that in the next video. So if you like this video, uh, just give it a like. If you have suggestions for anything you want me to do, um, you have any ideas that you'd like to see. Otherwise, you can follow my Instagram at carnivoroschef. I'll post it somewhere here. I'll be posting daily until the 30 days are up, and I might even keep going past that, uh, depending on how I feel and how weight loss is going. But yeah, cool. See you on my Instagram.